another user question, and this is a common one as well, is why is the measured size of my hole different than the size of the pin that can fit in my hole? The reason for that has to do with the fitting algorithms that you choose to measure your diameter features. If we look inside of the Auto Features dialog for just a second, towards the middle of the dialog, here's the choices we have for the fitting algorithms. We have least squares, minimum separation, maximum inscribed, minimum circumscribed, and fixed radius. Let's look at the two common ones that you would use to calculate pin size and ring size for the measured features. Imagine for a moment the circle or cylinder that you're measuring has a roundness that looks like this star. So this is a very unround feature. Let's look at how PCDMIS would calculate the least squares fit for this particular feature. So this is a least squares fit diameter that we're seeing. And if you visualize the touch points for this diameter as the red X's, you can see that this diameter doesn't pass through any of the red X's. Instead, it's an average of the radial error from the calculated diameter. And what PCDMIS does is it calculates the radial distance, it adds up those distances, and it squares them to give you an absolute number. And it's going to shift the size and the position of that diameter to minimize that error that's squared. So you can see a pin is not going to fit inside of this least squares fit diameter. Now, if this is a hole that we're measuring, the fitting algorithm that we want to use is called maximum inscribed diameter. We can see this circle represents the maximum inscribed diameter. It is the maximum circle size that will touch the three nearest points. And this directly represents the size of the pin that will fit inside of this hole. Now, if this shape that we measured is not a hole, but rather a pin, then the question is, what size ring will fit over this pin? And to have PCDMIS calculate that, we're going to change the fitting algorithm to minimum circumscribed diameter. So you can see this diameter is the minimum diameter that will fit over this pin size, and it directly represents the size of the ring that would fit over this pin size.